I have never understood the resistance of extra IRS agents unless you knowingly cheat on your taxes. I'm right there with you. I mean, if you have nothing to hide, why do you need civil rights? It's not like the government has ever overstepped its boundaries before. If you're not doing anything illegal, why does it matter? Can't we just give daddy government full access to all of our private information and trust that they won't abuse their power for personal or political gain? They would never do that. I mean, just look at Congress. It's not like they've ever accepted money <clears throat> bribes from a large corporation so they would in turn vote the way that would benefit said corporation the most. That would be corruption. More government is never a bad thing. I mean, look at the ATF, for example. They were originally an expansion to the IRS as well. <coughs> Before becoming the most tyrannical federal authority to exist since the inception of this country. <coughs> and they've never done us wrong. More than 80 people are believed to have died in yesterday's fiery conclusion to the 51-day siege. 24 of them children. The FBI is another great example. They were originally founded to investigate civil rights infringements. Another way to put that is they were meant to be the police over the government. It's not like they've ever declined to investigate a presidential candidate during an election and pursued the opposition due to political bias. That would be an abuse of power. I'm sure you can see where I'm going with this. This country was not intended to be ruled by its government. The earliest of Americans destroyed a shipment of tea because of a new tax imposed by Britain. That very act led to the American Revolution and the founding of our country. Yet, us modern Americans have allowed much worse to take place since then, and you want more? No, thank you.